Fill a standard syringe with heparinized normal saline. Remove the black syringe flushing tip from the tray and connect it to the syringe. Remove the retrieval catheter from the tray. Insert the black syringe flushing tip into the distal tip of the retrieval catheter. Flush the catheter lumen until heparinized normal saline can be seen exiting at the rapid exchange exit port. The retrieval catheter is now ready for use. Advance the retrieval catheter over the bare wire. Notice the indicator bands are positioned at 90 centimeters and 100 centimeters from the distal tip of the retrieval catheter to aid device introduction. Advance the retrieval catheter through the treated lesion until the radiopaque catheter tip contacts the proximal end of the filtration element. Grip the retrieval catheter shaft close to the rotating hemostatic valve to hold the catheter position steady. Use the torque device provided. Grip and retract the bare wire until the proximal radiopaque section of the wire meets the distal end of the filtration element. Continue to retract the bare wire until the filtration element is fully enclosed in the radiopaque expandable tip of the retrieval catheter. Filtration element retrieval is complete when the distal marker band on the filtration element is within 2 millimeters of the distal end of the radiopaque catheter tip. Do not continue to retract the bare wire against significant resistance. Retract the retrieval catheter over the bare wire or remove the retrieval catheter and the bare wire together as one unit. If significant resistance is felt, retract the guide catheter or sheath, the retrieval catheter, and the filtration element together. Notice the single distal indicator band is positioned 15 centimeters from the rapid exchange exit port and the twin distal indicator bands are located 5 centimeters from the rapid exchange exit port to aid catheter retrieval. Open the hemostasis valve after the twin distal indicator bands become visible. Discard the retrieval catheter after removal.